Why even get out of bed in the morning? Now, for those that are not living in English-speaking countries, this phrase, why get out of bed in the morning, usually means that I am depressed or that I am really sad and that life simply has no meaning and I cannot find a reason to even get out of bed. I just want to stay in bed, sometimes until I die. This is how you feel when life has no meaning. So this is what this phrase means in English. Now, back to the question. Why even get out of bed in the morning? Uh, from reading the rest of the email, this person is only 20 years old. Okay, I'm not going to tell you to focus on all the good things about life, because when life has no meaning, these things have no meaning either. So I'm not going to make it one of those uh, inspirational lecture talks. I'm going to talk to the soul part of you rather than the personality part of you because you are a soul. Now, to the soul part of you, you simply forgot that Earth is some sort of a prison. A few more freedoms than our prison, our prisons have here on Earth. But nevertheless, it is a prison for the soul because of the limits it has for the soul. Because the soul is used to being limitless. So remind yourself that you are in some sort of a prison. And then ask yourself, let me see what I can take from this prison. It will not last forever and I will be back home soon where I will be free. And then stop seeing the fact that you don't want to get out of bed as something bad. Because if you see it as something bad and you judge it, you will never be able to change it. Stop seeing it as something bad and when you wake up in the morning, say to yourself, you know what, today I want to stay in bed and that's what I'm going to do. This way it becomes a choice. And the energy around you starts to change because you are now in bed by choice. You are st stuck in your room by choice. And this will help everything around you slowly change. Slowly. You didn't get to this position in one day. So you won't come out of it in one day either. But it is very important not to see it as something that needs to be changed. Second, do not listen to other people. But this implies for every situation. Never listen to other people that tell you what you should do with your life. Now, back to the soul part of you. You did come here by choice. So, ask yourself out of curiosity, not in a way that you are demanding an answer that minute out of curiosity, I wonder what it is I found attractive about this prison and I decided to come. I wonder what it was that excited me about this prison we call Earth and I decided to come. Again, this will change the energy. I had to pause it for a minute, there was too much noise in the hallway. Anyway, again, this will change the energy from the energy of victim to the energy of curiosity. It was curiosity that started this universe. God said, I wonder what would happen if... And this is where we are now. So, by you asking 
I wonder what it was that made me decide to come to Earth, to come to this prison. You will go into this energy of curiosity and slowly things will start changing for you. Now, there is no such thing as a magic button you can press. You remember this situation from back home where our thoughts create our reality instantly. Here on Earth, we have a time lag and this is why we don't have the magic button that most of us are looking for. We're not just looking for that magic button because we are lazy and we don't want to go through the process. We are looking for it because down deep inside we remember it exists. And we remember something like, hang on a minute, whatever I wanted I would have that instant. What is wrong here? Well, what is wrong is you are now inside a prison and prisons have different rules. So, Try and use this logic to be able to come out of it slowly. Another thing I would definitely advise is stop looking for meaning and purpose for your life. Meaning and purpose are two things that people who do not have a sex life keep looking for. I mean, really, how often do you hear a young person that is sexually active looking for meaning or purpose for their life? Never. They are just looking to get laid. And they are very happy with this. But you see, when nobody wants you for sex, you start becoming all deep and meaningful. And you say, I'm looking for meaning. I'm looking for purpose. I always look at these clients and think, no sex life, huh? Sometimes I say it. Sometimes they start laughing. Other times they get offended. Now, stop looking for meaning. Get out there. And do whatever brings your body pleasure. Become a hedonist. Providing the other person agrees with you, of course. That's just common sense. But first, accept the situation like it's perfectly normal, which it is. Do you really think all those people that do get out of bed early in the morning do everything in the bathroom really fast, eat while they're standing up, drink their coffee while they're driving, and do a job they don't like eight hours a day? Do you think that they are happier than you? They're not. But they are better actors than you. They can fake it better than you can. So do not see your situation as something bad. And keep telling yourself every morning, today I choose to stay in bed. There will be a massive difference in your feeling, in, your, um, in the way you feel. Because then it becomes a choice. I think I will leave it at this.